Good morning. Uh, I will pick up on a, a few things that uh, my colleague, Mike Green, has not yet touched on, and then uh, Victor Chow will be uh, talking primarily about North Korea. I will leave that to him. The Obama administration came in wanting to have a uh, closer partnership, uh, more cooperation with China, particularly on uh, global issues. So there was a desire to really elevate this relationship and find new areas of cooperation, expand what had been done in previous administrations. Uh, the agenda was particularly focused on uh, climate change and uh, countering proliferation and uh, cooperating in the effort of global economic rebalancing. Um, uh, there were, I think, early disappointments in this administration, um, and the Chinese have not stepped up in the way uh, that uh, the Obama administration had hoped. Uh, this summit does, to some extent, provide an opportunity um, to reinvigorate uh, that agenda. We've seen a little bit of progress uh, on uh, climate change and the proliferation front. Uh, the administration uh, it believes that, uh, on, particularly on Iran, that's an area that is uh, on the positive side of the ledger of the relationship. Um, and uh, North Korea has been a, a very mixed bag. But again, I'll, uh, I'll leave that, uh, that to uh, Victor. Uh, so I think the administration is, um, is, is, is looking for some tough statements um, on, on, on China. Um, on, on Iran in particular, uh, the Chinese did support the beefing up the sanctions last year. Uh, though probably not as much as the U.S. and others um, have wanted. But most importantly, they have so far not uh, backfilled companies uh, that are divesting in, uh, in Iran. And uh, there will be an important meeting coming up in Ankara. I think it's January um, 21, 22, if I'm not mistaken. And the administration is very keen to in ensure that there is a good P5 plus one uh, unity. Uh, so we want China to stay on board uh, with keeping pressure uh, on Iran. That, again, is probably the single most, uh, the, 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 uh, among the security issues, um, these, the area in which there is most uh, cooperation. Uh, on the, uh, I, I would also mention briefly on human rights uh, that I think that uh, President Obama is going to want to uh, <coughs> say something uh, fairly firm on, on this issue as well, particularly in the aftermath of the award to uh, Chinese dissident Liu Xiaobo and the Chinese uh, reaction uh, to that, in which the Chinese uh, essentially uh, discouraged uh, countries from attending the, the award ceremony, uh, but even beyond that, uh, suggested that there was some U.S. interference in, in, in the award uh, of uh, uh, the decision that was made. The Chinese uh, are looking mostly for uh, symbols, uh, optics, uh, face in the, you know, in the Chinese context. Uh, the protocol is very, very important to the Chinese. Uh, they have, they did not get a state visit for Hu Jintao in 2006. They got sort of a mixed visit. It was official. Um, I, he got the White House uh, lawn ceremony, and, the, and uh, uh, but, but he did not get uh, the state dinner. Instead, he had uh, a lunch. Uh, this time, uh, China is getting, I think, everything that it wants in terms of the uh, symbols of a visit. I think for the Chinese, the most important thing is to avoid the snafus that took place in 2006, where there was a proponent of uh, Falun Gong, the uh, sect uh, on, the, on the White House lawn, unfurling a uh, banner. Uh, there was the announcement of the national anthem uh, incorrectly, uh, saying that it was the Republic of, uh, of China's national anthem. So, you know, the Chinese want to avoid all of this. But if there's anything substantive that the Chinese want to accomplish here in the U.S., I think it is improving China's image uh, in the United States. Uh, the attitude of the U.S. public toward China. Th that will be on the agenda when uh, Hu Jintao is in uh, Chicago, for example, uh, visiting a Chinese, an, an auto parts factory in which there is Chinese investment, um, sending the message that China is contributing to creating jobs uh, in the United States, visiting a, I think it's a middle school or a high school in which they teach uh, Chinese, uh, demonstrating, again, uh, 
cooperation between uh, the U.S. and China on the educational front. But President Hu Jintao wants to show that he has been a good steward, a responsible steward of the U.S.-China relationship. Uh, again, as Mike said, this is his last visit. He's going to want to turn over this relationship, the most critical relationship for China, uh, to his successor, Xi Jinping, uh, in good shape. Uh, let me finally just say something about the, uh, the military uh, side of things. Uh, I, I, I agree that Defense Secretary Gates uh, a, achieved uh, some uh, some useful uh, things during his uh, visit to China last week, uh, particularly the um, uh, agreement by the uh, the Chinese to send their the head of the Second Artillery, uh, which is in charge of these of these strategic rocket forces, both <coughs> conventional and nuclear, to our strategic command. Uh, the Chinese have in the past suggested that they would do that, and the Bush administration didn't happen. We will see whether it happens uh, this time. Uh, the, um, uh, I think that, that President Obama might seek to reinforce uh, some of the things and messages that uh, Defense Secretary Gates uh, was trying to, to get across. One is that we want to have a sustained and reliable uh, military relationship with China that will survive the shifting political winds, as Secretary Gates said. Uh, but I do agree with uh, Mike that if we do go ahead with a major arms sale to Taiwan, uh, that, that, that probably all bets are off. Um, I don't think that necessarily the Chinese would suspend uh, the relationship for all arms sales, but uh, we could talk about that in the Q&A. And then finally, uh, Secretary Gates tried to tee up uh, an agreement on a new security dialogue, which would be a joint civilian military dialogue uh, that would focus on nuclear uh, space, cyber, and missile defense issues. The Chinese side said that they would study this, uh, though Secretary Gates met with uh, Hu Jintao and uh, said in a, a discussion with the media afterwards uh, for the press that uh, he believes that Hu Jintao and the Chinese side are really seriously considering this. So this is something that maybe the president um, will seek to reinforce, uh, that this kind of dialogue would be important uh, toward beginning to allay some of the, the mutual suspicions that have built up uh, over the last few years uh, and begin to establish a modicum of strategic uh, trust in the relationship. Thank you.